do you have any problems sexually that you wanted to discuss? Actually, yeah, there's this there's this pillow that I'm in love with. Oh. I um I haven't been able to confess my love to it nor find an orifice to uh to take out actions of my love. If you've seen Pam Anderson's vaginal rejuvenation, um, they can pretty much do anything you want down there, and I think that hair removal is probably one of the more simple things to do. I recommend, again, Vicodin, two Sudafeds, and a Manhattan. Um, here's another question from the folks at home. It says, my boyfriend has shown an interest in me swallowing during oral sex. I tried once at university. Oh, I think we have somebody from England. Uh, with another partner and have never been sure what to do. Uh, is there a way to do this that we will both enjoy and how do I go about it? Um, well, okay, so your boyfriend wants you to swallow during oral sex. Um, I don't know what the problem here is. You've just never known what to do. Well, you just don't take your mouth off of his penis when he's ejaculating and then you swallow it. Maybe even just introducing a third party into your relationship, um, just for kicks, just for fun, just see where it goes. Why not? I mean, really, what's the worst that could happen? Divorce? Well, does it matter? You haven't had sex for eight years. What do I do about these itchy bumps? Ew, itchy bumps. <laughs> where are the itchy bumps? Oh, they're everywhere. Okay, you need to get a salve. Oh, God, I love it. What but, kind of salve? Um... Uh, it, it depends on the, the you know, that the, you should definitely consult a doctor in person and show him the bumps, okay. which could be embarrassing. I, I understand I that. I disagree. That's yeah, do you? most of my dates. Is it? I, I show the bumps. My suggestion, if you're, con I mean, if you're being met sexually and you're being satisfied sexually, uh, regardless of his weenie size, um, then I would say... Introducing some bondage gear might really help out. Maybe a lot of you are at work. Maybe you have sex problems at work, work-related sex issues. Call me. Talk to me about it. So is, is there anything that, that, you, that other people might consider a sex problem that you may not? Or I just want to make sure because if I have any problems, I want to make sure I ask you, right? Um, well, you know, I mean, you could be vague about it. A lot of the emails that I've had come in are, are fairly vague. Um, you know, that, that is a sex problem. It's a problem relating to sex, the Monica Lewinsky incident. I know, but it wasn't really sex, right? Because she just, she just went down on him? Uh, I think it was really sex. Really? Yeah, I mean, he came on her. So that's pretty sexual. Yeah. Uh, people have issues that sort of link to each other, and it starts in the head, and it leads to the vagina or whatnot. Um, I guess the boy, if you don't have a vagina... Well, if you don't have a vagina, then you probably have a weenus. Oh, that. Aside from yelling it out in public. Um, I think yelling it out in public is actually a really good way to go. And, you know, yelling it out at bikers on the street, that's a really wow, great way right. to go. Like, no, that, I think that's okay. It's just more like, I don't like the C word. That's my oh, am I allowed to say that word? Cunt? No, 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 no. I'm fine with that because I have one. Oh, cock? No. <laughs> Clitoris? No, 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 that's an awesome word. <laughs> I don't, C word, am I, I'm... For guys, the stuff that comes out. Come. Yeah, that is so gross. Oh, I was going to say coochie next, but I was just like... <laughs> he cummed on me, like if you want to just... <laughs> He's coming! That's a good one to yell. No, or he came on my foot! On your foot? Or, you know, just... Yeah. It's, it's happened to me. Oh. And always use a condom. Maybe you should start masturbating more and growl at him about not getting it up enough or something. I don't know. Or you could take pictures of yourself, go to Kinko's, get a bunch of copies, and then tape them over the women's heads in the Playboy magazine so that way you can really feel like you're a part of it. I would uh, I would definitely say that doing yoga would help you with sex. What about Brian Kest? Is he good? <laughs> he is an excellent yoga instructor. I believe he's based out of Santa Monica. Um, but yes, yoga and sex go hand in hand. I do yoga. It helps keep me flexible. Can you do any crazy poses? Um, not here. I'm kind of in a limited space. 
Has anybody seen the IHOP commercial where they say, come hungry? <laughs> That's one of my favorite commercials these days. IHOP, come hungry. I think I'm getting a case of stinky vagina from sitting in this latex chair in this hot room. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you for JJ. Bye-bye. Bye. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later?